Um, good evening everyone, Mrs. Mugumi Arita is my name. I would like to thank God for healing me of a nose polyp that had been growing on my right sinus for I think close to 20 years. I got to know about my the nose polyp condition at the beginning of this year 2016 though it it goes way back to when I was about six or seven years old I developed um, tensolites <clears throat> in my throat and uh, I, I went through quite a lot of medication because the doctor then advised my parents it wasn't good for me to undergo surgery at that age to cut them out however they kept on growing and they got bigger to the point where I moved from eating mashed food and soup to barely holding swallow in my saliva because they were too painful. So when we got to that point, my my parents just made the decision and uh, the doctor took it up and said, okay, we'll take her under surgery and cut out the tensor lights in her throat. Though his fear was I would develop I would develop respiratory issues. In particular, I would develop asthma for cutting me up open that early, at that early age. I think I was about seven years old when I underwent an operation. However, uh, that is when my issues with cold began. From, say, about the age of eight or so, is when I began having these issues of cold. Getting me, waking me up early in the morning when it was still cold was a big hassle, was a big hassle over the years uh, close to 20 years now i've always had respiratory issues uh, cold weather did me very bad heat entering a place that was very warm i feel like i'm suffocating dust um, strong scents cologne and such things would just build up into my nose or in my throat and I feel like I'm choking on something so I keep coughing I keep sneezing and doing all sorts of things um, I had ignored it for a while I passed it off as allergy to cold and every AC and everything else until December last year when I thought about it and in my mind I thought and said I might be passing it off as just allergy and yet it could be something much bigger than I actually think. So I decided to see a specialist and find out what could be the problem that was causing all these issues. Um, I happened to work with an insurance company then, so I inquired with our health team and they, they recommended a good ENT. I called her up, made an appointment and I saw her at the beginning of January, just after the new year. I went to see her. She, she put a camera, I'm not sure, I think it's called a camera, up my nose and discovered a very huge polyp on my right sinus. It was a swelling almost this big. So um, before she could recommend medication, she asked me to have a CT scan done so that she knows exactly what she's dealing with. I went to Kampala Hospital, had a CT scan done and yeah, there was a huge polyp on my right sinus. I, I got back to her and uh, surgery was one of the options to have it cut out because it would be much simpler to cut it out though she decided that she wanted to try some medication first to try and reverse it. Um, she, she put me on some intense medication for about that was supposed to last about three months during which I had to do monthly periodic checks. So uh, there was IVs, there was an inhaler, there was medication. It was strong medication. And uh, I was actually required to take some time off work. I took about a week off because of the IVs that I was receiving needed a lot of rest. So I couldn't do, I wouldn't be that much productive anyway. Um, towards uh, mid jan I decided to take a week off so that I can get the medication and everything else. On the third day, of my medication uh, very early morning uh, my my fiance and I then happened to have a very early morning appointment with one of his aunties in Bunga so we left home we had to be there by 8 and we were there by 8 on our way there we happened to be listening to a someone by Apostle Grace Lovega titled Gloria Stars 
and uh, yeah we listened through the way we got there before eight by by about 9 30 we were done with what we we're going to do so we're heading back to town during that the the, the someone was still playing in the car and uh, as we headed back to town i happened to slip off in the car so i inclined my chair and i just slipped off in the co-driver's seat i slept off as i slept um I suddenly saw Apostle Grace and he like moved towards me and he touched, he tapped my right shoulder. I, I remember waking up uh, trying to think what was happening. I was trying to put things together and before I could even think that much far, about a minute or so, I drifted back into sleep. And this time, when I, when I drifted back into sleep, I noticed I saw like a swelling, like a huge swelling, just subside, double back, and it was completely clear that like the surface was cleared. And then this time I woke up again, <laughs> trying to put things together, trying to figure out, okay, what exactly happened here? My mind was thinking what was happening, was trying to put things together, but there was a, there was a voice in my heart that just kept on saying, thank you, God, I have been healed. And I decided to concentrate on what my heart was saying. And I just kept saying, thank you, God, because I have been healed. Um, I didn't see the doctor. I didn't go back to see the doctor immediately. I saw her on the 8th of March is when I, I managed to get time. It was a public holiday. So I managed to get time to go back, see the doctor. And when I got there, she put the camera up my nose again. And in disbelief, she suddenly was not sure what my previous, what my condition had been. Because <laughs> she couldn't figure out. I had to explain to her about twice what was actually happening. She looked at the CT scan results again. But she was in disbelief because as, as, as clear as can be, it looked like there had not been a, a single problem even before. And so for that, I want to thank God for for exposing me to that experience because knowing that god is a healer knowing that he actually heals people is one thing but experiencing the healing having the healing experience yourself is something else because it, it it feels different it takes things to a whole different level with god and i am thankful for that